folks, Scott here with my 10 card video for the Love From Lizzie October 2017 kit. I've been fighting a bit of a head cold this week, so if I sound funny or go off on a tangent, I can blame it all on the drugs. <laughs> this is the stamp set featured in this month's box with all these great skeletal bone images and lots of puns. I thought this was a very interesting stamp set because though the images are kind of Halloween oriented, the sentiments are not Halloween oriented. They're much more pun oriented. There's not a single word of Halloween in any of the sentiments. So I thought that was pretty smart. You don't have to just use this for Halloween. You can use these any time of the year with puns like this. Now I did forget to mention in my unboxing that we do get a sequin mix in our card kit. This is this great orange and white and purple and green and there's little black spiders and black stars. It's a great sequin mix. I had misplaced it when I got I did my unboxing and didn't find it until much later. So this is part of your kit. You do get sequins in your kit. Now Lizzie's cardstock is A4 European cardstock so it's like 11.7 inches by 4.2 three inches. So to make it A2 cards from it, I simply trim off the long end to make it 11 inches long. So you can split it into five and a half inch cards. We had off-white, brown, black, orange, and yellow. Those were our card stocks in the kit this month. I, of course, made card bases out of all of those. So, of course, I went to the stamps and started playing with the stamps and went to what I thought was the most obvious pun in the stamp set. You're so humorous. <laughs> I wanted to stamp all of these bones a little parade across the front and thought it would be great fun to match the angle of them with the angle of the washi tape from the kit. Now, I stamped all of these on my old standby. This is my staples ivory cover stock. This stuff is really cheap, like 15 bucks for a ream of 250. I keep this on hand all of the time to use as for templates and scratch card stock, etc, etc. It matches so nicely with the off-white card stock that was included with the kit. So I use this more than anything else for all of my cards this month. Staples, ivory, cover stock, cheap, cheap, works really, really well. <laughs> Back to the card. Uh, you're so humorous. Great, funny, funny, funny pun. I liked the parade of humorous bones across this. The washi tape at the top and bottom. I did little strips of the black glimmer paper, specialty paper, on the top and bottom. This I really like this card. It strikes me as so masculine. And after the last six months, it feels like, of dealing with lots of pink in my card kits, it was really, really nice to get my hands on something that could make a straightforward, classy, very masculine card. I like this a lot. I love the little parade of bones and the fact that they match the angle of the washi tape. In fact, I like this so much, I thought I would run with this idea and <laughs> embrace the masculine card for a few moments here. So with the stamps from Lizzie's kit and the sentiments, I kept going in that same direction. And here we have the ribcage stamp and the stole my heart sentiment. Well, I have this great, this is a, uh, a lawn fawn, I love you border die and I trimmed the U off of that. I cut the U out of that bronze glimmer paper, specialty paper from the kit, and I cut that U out of there. I thought that worked really nice with the U stole my heart. Again, I'm repeating the theme from this one, the top and bottom with the washi tape. I edged the edges of the ivory cardstock here with the same bronze glimmer paper here. Great fun, I really like this. These cards have nothing inside of them. These could be given to anybody at almost any time. You stole my heart. This is great fun. Another pun directly related to the stamp in the kit. Great fun. We've got a fun little masculine card set going here. And I couldn't stop there. <laughs> so 
<laughs> we move on to the pelvis bone. <laughs> now for this pelvis bone, again, I stamped it on the ivory cardstock. I did use a alphabet die that I just recently got. This is a, a Dynamics Marker Micro alphabet die. Great fun. I used the die to punch out the hip hip from the bronze glimmer paper again. And of course, put the strips of it on the edges of the ivory cardstock. Two strips of the washi tape, very similar to these guards. This is on the chocolate brown card base. And I did add some of the black satin ribbon to the top and bottom of this. Gave it a really nice finished touch to this one. Hip hip, and you're wondering where is the hooray. <laughs> I thought it was great fun to put the hooray all by itself on the inside of a card. I think that's why I felt like I needed to hip hip on the outside. If I had stamped the hooray on the outside, then you probably didn't need the hip hip. But with this, you definitely get the hip hip Hooray. <laughs> Great fun. I All of the stamping I did in this kit, I used the uh, Tim Holtz Distress Oxide in Walnut Stain. It went very well with the colors of the papers and the washi tape. And I used that on the hooray on the inside here too. Okay, so that's like three in this nice little set, but you can't have three in a set. So I decided to throw the towel in and use all of the stamps <laughs> and I love you to pieces. I almost ran out of room on my ivory cardstock. I did color these bones with the chameleon pen included in the kit. I almost got the skull a little too dark but at least was able to keep his teeth nice and bright. But the uh, chameleon marker, I did touches of color on all of these. It's very nice. It adds a nice little dimension to these stamps. It goes very well with the Walnut Stain Distress Ink as well. I love you pieces. I did that on my silhouette in a, a sign painter font and printed that up in a medium brown to go along with everything. Again, the washi tape on the top and the bottom. I used the black glimmer paper for little strips down the side. You can see the black glimmer paper there. This is a fun card. I love you to pieces. And those are, there are plenty of pieces there. Okay, so four, I promise that's the last of my truly masculine, straightforward, non-Halloween cards. But I wasn't quite done with the stamp set yet. So I thought it would be interesting to try and see if you could actually make something a little more macabre out of these stamps and sentiments. So this is my shaker card for this month. I got your back. And I've actually got your backbone in a bell jar. <laughs> this is great fun. I think the bell jar is a great uh, Halloween image, kind of echoes of Frankenstein. I simply found a bell jar image online and traced it to use for my bell jar top. Now I used vellum in the back and vellum on the edges to kind of create the highlights, quote unquote, highlights on the bell jar. I stamped and fussy cut the spine on again that ivory cardstock and then floated that up on some foam tape inside there. This is fun. I cut some ovals on my silhouette to make the little base for the bell jar there. Got your back stamped on that ivory card stock and then cut out with a lawn fawn stitch rectangle die, just a straight sheet of black card stock for the little table underneath. This is all mounted on that gorgeous like wallpaper pattern paper from the kit. I really liked this and it's got like every color of Halloween in it. So then I took the pumpkin pie embossing powder, made little stripes of the embossing powder down both sides of that wallpaper. I thought that was a really interesting touch and that embossing powder is very interesting. 
it doesn't give you, once it's heat set, it gives you a nice glitter to it, but it's not smooth and shiny. It's kind of glittery and textury. Very interesting cardstock. It certainly stays put by all means once heat set, which is very cool. Very nice, it went well with this card. There's plenty of orange in the pattern paper here. And then for a final pop, little strips of the green shimmer paper in the specialty paper. Green shimmer paper to finish that out. There's touches of green in the wallpaper here. Got your back. I've actually got your back in a little bell jar on display. This is my shaker card. I took all of the small sequins from the shaker mix. I didn't want to get any of the big sequins in there. And it actually works pretty good. The vellum highlights on the bell jar were just enough to kind of hide the foam tape that gives it the height and makes it shake. This was great fun. Got your back. I think it's very... Dr. Frankenstein. -y. <laughs> um, I loved the pattern paper, the 12 inch pattern paper that had all of the concentrated elixirs in it. And I tell you, from the moment I saw Lizzie do her unboxing, I was like, I want to make potion bottles. I want to make some potion bottles for these labels. So this is what we came up with. I actually used some, some old paper I have in my stash, Coordination's Auburn Pearl Pearlized Paper for the actual bottles here. I created this shape in my silhouette and cut it out. This is my black cardstock with some sheer shimmer spritz to give it a little glitter on some plain craft cardstock on the back. And the fun part of this card is that the bottle opens, and that's where your card is. There's a touch of cork at the top to give us our little cork in the top of the bottle. The fold line is right at the top of the bottle, so the cork just falls, the cork just falls behind when you open it up. I thought that was great fun. I really love these labels, they're great fun. If you look closely, all of them say, okay, this is spider hair, but it, says what it is good for. Spider hair improves your perception. And all of them have something different. So you could almost personalize these to the recipient on what you think they need or what they think they need, et cetera, et cetera. I really like this a lot. I like the novelty that the bottle is the card. I love the little cork bit on the top. I like this so much that I went ahead and made six of them. <laughs> so here's your flea legs, which improves coordination. How many people do we know need that? Chicken toes, which aids smelly feet. How many people do we know that needs that? Uh, the mos extract of mosquito sting that improves sensibility. Boy, there's, there's a good elixir. Centipede legs that improves your gait. <laughs> All of these virtually the same. I found this happy Halloween image online and used it throughout this card set. Pure concentrated extract of centipede legs and octopus ink which colorizes dreams. <laughs> I love that one. Colorizes your dreams. Great fun cards. I really like that. There's a whole set of six for you right there. I will probably go into those labels and make the other six <laughs> before too much longer. We'll set all of those over there. <laughs> okay, let's dig into the pattern papers and all of the goodies in the kit. So, this is the first fun card I came up with. <laughs> this guy makes me giggle just looking at him. Lizzie had given us uh, quite a bit of surgical gauze in our kit. So I took a alcohol marker and colored it yellow because I wanted this to be my crash test mummy. <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs> So, of course, this goes on the yellow card base. This is that great black lace uh, on the sides here that I just used a little spray adhesive on and glued it right down to the card base. We've got those great purple mirror peel-offs on the edge of that dark bookcase pattern paper. I thought the bookcase was appropriate for a crash test. Get it? Test? <laughs> Mummy. <laughs> 
I simply cut a head shape out of my ivory cardstock and I printed a couple of eyeballs to go in there because they were going to show through. These are just some eyeballs I found online. I ended up using these blue ones uh, printed on yellow because it worked better. I thought too bright printed on white cardstock, but just right printed on yellow. So I used those eyes from online and glued them down and then realized that the Google eyes fit perfectly <laughs> on those. So if you look real close, you can actually see the shape of his eyeballs behind the gauze. <laughs> I found these, uh, these are little registration marks on a crash test dummy that they aim the cameras at. I did have to fold the edges of the gauze over a little bit to help define its actual wrapping here. But this is my mummy card for the month. It's great fun and it's a crash test mummy. <laughs> Happy Halloween. This is great fun. It's little stray bits of thread and stuff from the gauze. I did use a little darker uh, alcohol marker to give it a little shading around the edges. This is a great fun card. Makes me laugh just looking at this guy. It looks like he's been through one too many crash tests already. <laughs> I did print his sentiment up using my silhouette. This is the typewriter hand font. I use this typewriter hand font a lot for my cards. I, of course, printed that up on a piece of that ivory card stock, cut it down to fit inside of the card. Crash test money. Happy Halloween. I was very excited to get a 12 by 12 sheet of vellum images with this kit. Again, I really like the vellum images that Lizzie gets, gives us. And I especially fell in love with the moon. There was a great moon shape there. And so I made this card. I, of course, <laughs> oh, computer head Scott had to go online. I found a, a picture of the moon and sized it to fit the moon shape on this piece of vellum. Printed it up on some of that ivory card stock, sent my vellum through my Xyron sticker maker and glued it down to the yellow card stock. I think the moon looks really great through that vellum. It's printed on the yellow, so it's a little yellow. It really fits with this. This is great fun. A little graveyard with the bats and the moon. If you look closely, the coffin that's sticking out of the ground here says open on it. I used the wood pattern paper and cut those out with a couple of stitched hillside dies that I have. Cut those out and used some distress ink to distress their edges and darken them up a bit for the ground. Here we got a little coffin sticking out of the ground and it says open on it. So you can take the coffin out of the card and when you open it, you get boo, trick or treat. <laughs> A simple little pop-up of a boo <laughs> for the inside. Trick or treat with a couple of eyes looking at you. This open, I stamped. I just, I just recently got this stamp set from My Favorite Things. This is their interactive label stamp set. Very inexpensive, but it has spin, pull, tear, flip, look, press, flop, shake, here, slide, open, touch, scratch, turn, push. Great little words. Open on this just in case somebody didn't realize that you could pull the coffin out of the ground here. So great fun. These are two of the gravestone buttons that I trimmed the little clasps off the back, glued them down. Great fun card. This is not the end though. You don't just get a boo and a trick or treat. Inside it says, I dig you. <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs> Again, this is in the typewriter hand font. I really enjoyed that font and thought it worked well with the whole Halloween theme here. Open up your coffin for a boo and open up the card for I dig you. Great fun. I really enjoyed putting the moon up there. I just think that's really very, very stunning. So I have very few Halloween stamps or Halloween dies. I probably have three or four stamps that could be used for Halloween and one die. I have one simple die that I can use for Halloween. This is a Dereese 
spiderweb background die. Very inexpensive. I bought it a number, probably a couple of years ago, and have never really been able to use it. And so I was dying to use it with this kit. And since we had such great spider images and some plastic spiders and some spider webs and some spider web pattern paper. So on the yellow card base, this is what we came up with. I did die cut that Doris spider web background die in vellum and trimmed out the bottom right corner of it, cut that out of it. I put a number of the little sequin spiders on the spider web background paper and then covered everything with a really thin layer of that spider webbing. You can see it when it comes to points like that. You can kind of see it. It's actually reading pretty well on there. It's got a nice little fuzz over everything and you can see the little trims of it. There's a good stretch that comes over here. I'm really kind of amazed at how pretty this card came out. Again, I used that black lace on the edges of the yellow card base. This is the spider web pattern paper from the kit, sequins from the kit. This is all covered up with that nice spider webbing. I have so much spider webbing left, I'm sure I could decorate the whole house for Halloween. I did a You Caught Me In Your Web. You Caught Me In Your Web, which is again in typewriter hand on that ivory card stock. I cut that out with a stitched oval die from my stash. Easy, simple. I mounted that actually on the purple glitter ribbon cut to size. So it's got a really nice glitter of purple around it. And then mounted that on the red glimmer cardstock, the same cardstock I used to die cut the heart. And I die cut the heart and covered it with glossy accents to give it some nice shine and dimension. This is a single thread of DMC floss, gray DMC floss. Uh, coming from the web up here, coming down and wrapping around the heart, and then glue that big spider down on the top. Now the spider's back actually has, you can kind of see that, has got some good glitter to it. I covered his back with the uh, Nouveau Crystal Drops, which are great sparkly and very dark, very dark. This is a very fun card. I really like this. When I saw the spiders in the unboxing, I was like, I have to do a card that says, you've caught me in your web. And the light touch of the vellum on the sides, I actually took my Sakura Stardust Jelly Roll pen and ran little lines of glitter down the vellum web. And it actually, I think you can see it there in spots and places. So it's great fun. Some good shine on this card. I love the sentiment. You caught me in your web. And he has certainly caught your heart right there. A great fun Happy Halloween card. <laughs> now on some of these, I printed and cut the Halloweens on my silhouette. This is like four of them stacked up together and glued. Gives you a nice dimension there. You've caught me in your web. My little chips on my fingernails and stuff catches the little spider webby stuff and pulls it. I'm always afraid I'm gonna tear the card apart. <laughs> And of course we have to do a, I only have eyes for you. <laughs> now, believe it or not, these hands, I just traced these hands from an old Allstate <laughs> logo that I found online. Allstate logo is perfect. He's holding a house, I think, in the logo. So I just took the house out and used this to trace the hands onto a piece of Bristol cardstock. I colored the hands in a very Frankenstein way <laughs> with my Zig Clean Color markers. These are the purple eyes <laughs> that I showed you earlier that I'd found online. They've got some good bloodshotness to them. I printed those up, cut those out, covered them with some glossy accents to give them some good shine and a little bit of dimension. There you go, you can see that. Too much fun. I just cut the fingertips with my X-Acto knife so I could slide the eyeballs behind there. This is all mounted up on foam on, again, those labels. These are the miniature labels from the pattern paper that I used as background for this. Top and bottom, that great Harlequin diamond pattern paper in green and orange and beige and black. Really great, nice toppers for that stripe of labels behind there. 
and then of course a couple of strips of the Love From Lizzie peel-offs, top and bottom. I only have eyes for you. I actually used the font Lucida Black Letter for this. I used my silhouette and I actually did use the strip of off-white cardstock from the kit and printed on that strip of white cardstock. So if you print on a piece of paper and you can put cardstock over the top of it, tape the leading edge, send it through your printer again. That's what I did for this. So this is actually the off-white cardstock from the card kit, a couple of dots of the Nouveau glitter drops on each end there finishes this out. I did print the Happy Halloween on the cardstock right directly. So this is directly printed on the cardstock. This is from the silhouette. I only have eyes for you. <laughs> Nothing else. <laughs> so here we go. Here's card number 10 or card number 11 or card number 16, however we're counting here. <laughs> And if we look at everything, this is very much a muted color palette. This is very much a fall, Halloween, Thanksgiving type color palette here. So I was itching for a little more color than that. But I still have yet to use the dye that came in the kit. So here's what we came up for card number 10 this month. and a hippie Halloween. <laughs> oh, I had so much fun with this card. I did take the die, the door die, and I die cut a dark red door. I die cut a dark blue door. This is some old recollections textured card stock that I had in my stash. I die cut the two of them and then swapped the inlays between them. So the red door has the blue inlays, the blue door has the red inlays. I did die cut the little windows in the door from my ivory cardstock and added a little bit of yellow spectrum noir alcohol marker to give them a little life in their windows. I actually took some little pieces of gold mirror cardstock and punched out the two doorknobs also. So you have a little gold doorknob there. I found this little ghostly trick-or-treater online and with the aid of my silhouette software was able to give him a glorious tie-dyed sheet. <laughs> so he's out trick-or-treating in a tie-dyed sheet, the little peace sign on the front of his bag. I did this image all on my silhouette. These are all foam mounted up on the Black Glimmer specialty paper. Now, I was looking for an embossing folder or something I had to put some bricks or something behind the doors. I didn't have anything that was quite in the right scale, so I just scored this on my scoring board. Scored every quarter inch to make some little clapboards or, you know, siding on the sides of the house there. I think you can see that. And it's also added a bit of a curb right there. This is I think this is really nice. It's a great scene. I think it tells a whole story and yet it's very simple and not all complicated. So Hippie Halloween, there's actually even a little peace sign in the O there. This is the, of course, the Brady Bunch remastered font. <laughs> I don't think I can do a card kit without using that Brady Bunch font at least once. I really like this card. I loved being able to introduce these great rainbow colors in what is still a good Halloween card. That's my <laughs> 10 cards, one kit. Or actually, I guess it's 16 cards, one kit this month. I have tons and tons and tons of extras still left over. I only used one of the vellum pieces. I still have those labels. Plenty of peel-offs. Yeah, I love these. These are gorgeous. Um, a good amount of pattern paper left. Lots and lots of embellishments left too. I tried to use a little bit of everything, but I wasn't able to use a lot of anything. I could I could make another 16 cards with the stuff in this kit. Just add some card bases of my own and I could make another 16 cards easily. Of course, six of them would be these label cards. <laughs> 
So that's my kit, ladies and gentlemen. Those are my 16 cards for the Love from Lizzie October 2017 card kit. This is great fun. I really enjoyed this kit. I loved the masculinity of the kit. I loved the Halloween theme for this kit. I hope I was able to inspire you to think a little bit outside the box. And I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like me, list me, pin me, post me, share me with all your friends, and creepy crafting. <laughs>